So I'm going to hang up on the phone now. Cool. Okay, cool. Okay, um, can everyone in Kipmans hear me? Yes? Yes. Yay, okay, perfect. We are back. Technical song. Thank you for your patience and your kindness and patience. And thank you, Isa, for figuring it out. Okay, hi everyone. Um, I will be switching between a bit of Afrikaans and a bit of English as I'm talking to you guys. Um, before I want to, before I start, I just want to say it's very important that you guys are taking time out of whatever you are busy with to be with us to join this conversation because a lot of times when we ourselves don't take the charge as Namibians, as Nama people, as young people, as Ovaherero people, to educate one another about the atrocities that have happened to our people, there's a very big chance that those things can be repeated again and that we will be found at the end of uh, the colonial stick uh, as slaves and murdered people again. So as young people, I just want to first and foremost encourage you and say that this isn't worth just for uh, the comrade historian here in the front to do. It's all of our work as community members, as children that are the offspring of people that were killed unjustly and who still live dispossessed and um, with, without dignity in their own homeland. That is every one of us. So this is an ongoing struggle. It's an academic struggle. It's an activism struggle. It's a struggle of the arts and the crafts. It's a struggle of conversation. It's a struggle in our, home, in our households. But the only way we can do it is if we do it together. Oh, 
Okay, so our artwork is named roots before branches. So with this we mean what happened in the olden days, like the 1804s or the 1904s and the 1908s, the genocide, um, which is represented here, the alcohol abuse, we know the story of Protoa, mm -hmm. um, them stealing our minerals, stealing our um, yes. livestock, in other words, stealing our livelihood, uh, which we spoke about, okay, which, uh, what, what we lost as a basic. Um, and then the branches, because of this influence, we still have alcoholism. Uh, we have hunger today. Today we have, we have poverty in our communities. Um, but we also have a book here. We have more educated um, people now, and we have more people that are reading for themselves and, and um, learning, I mean, and researching and asking the questions. So that is basically what this represents. Mm. As you can see, this is now how the um, German people treat our people in the living slavery. If you can bring it a little bit closer, please. Yeah, there we see a horse and a man on a horse or a person on a horse. Yeah, the... The German people didn't only treat us as, as slaves, but they also misused us. They, they beat us with some, some books. Yeah, some books. As you can see, there are open wounds, blood, and blood is there everywhere. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I wanted to say thank you for this workshop. I never knew that there was something like it. And for me, as someone who loves the subject history, I really enjoyed myself, even though it may not have seemed like it. But I liked it. It was something new. I learned a lot from genocide, which was the Gabriel, not in our textbooks. And thank you for making this to our class. What, what, what I learned today is that um, actually most of the people know about what happened in the past. We like, uh, we ignore, we are ignoring about it, but most people know about this, uh, what happened, but we don't want to talk about it. I don't know why, but yeah, I think we must engage more into, uh, uh, I should have put it like, um, like people should start um, speaking out, you know, like mm -hmm. showing themselves, expressing themselves. That's what I want. 